Hello everyone. Uh, today's topic is about structure with functions. So you know that how to create your own structure. And let us use this structure parameter as a uh, function parameter as a function structure and also a written type one structure. So first to let us create structure student the numbers are These are the members of this structure. I am closing this structure. So now let us call a main function. Main function. So in this main function, I am creating a one variable, structure variable. Structure variable for student. You can create a multiple variables. Also, you can create the array of structure. Here, I want to create a two variables. And what could be happen? If you create a two variable, two variable are which time they are comes under the they are student type. Their members are uh, roll number, name, and percentage of marks. These are the members in the structure. And this uh, S1, S2 type uh, type is a student type. Now these two are variables. Okay, then uh, uh, let us read the values into structure the respective members. Now for that I am using a function call. So now S1 is equal to uh, read ST student in the details. I am calling you one function to read the values into array. So the values into structure variable. So here I am writing the respective code. So they are written type. So now what, what could be happen? Read uh, student is a read ST is a one function. The function you have to read the values into the picture. And after reading, it should be written a one. It should be written a one uh, structure itself. Then only the S1 will access that values. Example, whenever two, two people are want to interchange the water by using the water bottle. So now we are expecting the content is a water water itself, but the containers are water bottles. See here, whenever it is written in a one, uh, one value as a structure, now the column function also hold, hold the corresponding value by using a variable itself. So already we are ready, the, we are made ready the structure variable S1. It should return the value as a structure format. So now we are bottle, can exchange the water with bottle only, not with plate, not with any other type of container. We are exchanging the water with bottle and bottle. In the same way, uh, the corresponding re read st function type should be a structure type so that that student student is a written type for written type for a read function read st a read st function so this function written type should be a the student itself because finally after uh, after uh, and uh, after it, all the values in the structure, we finally return a one value. Return the value to calling function. The calling function able to access the top value by using the one more structure. There is no integer float like that. There is no primitive return type. Okay. Now here I am creating a one more structure like student. Uh, something like a a one I am creating. Even is one structure. Now here I, I am reading the values to a1. a1 dot rule number. Uh, so a1 dot name. We are reading the values. So now these are the statements are used to read the values into the corresponding variable. A1 or A1 is a one variable of which type it is also a student type, student type variable. And S1 and S2 are also student type variables. A1 also student type variable. Now where we give the value given input to the A1 structure. 
their member values are will become something you have given something 22 value you have given let us consider the value of name is it uh, x y z then marks percentage are 79 percentage like that you have given a value 79.5 these are the values you have given let us consider now these values are where they are available in which structure they are available they are available at the a1 now this entire uh, consider a1 is a1 bottle now this bottle you want to transfer to one more one more structure. What we should return? We should return this bottle. So we are writing return. Just return A1. Where it is going to be written? It is written to the corresponding calling point. Where, where, where the point is there? Here. Who will access that value? X1. Like that, uh, water bottle to water bottle, the content the uh, con content will be explained. Mm, so here uh so there is a one uh, we actually we started using only S1. So this is a S1 structure. Now there is a structure for A1, which is created for uh, which is created for the uh, read uh, read function. Now this is A1. A1 A1 values are actually who has given A1 values. A1 values are name is a XYZ. Rule number is a 22. Name is a X, Y, Z. These are the values at A1. Next, percentage is 79.5. These are the values we have given. Now we are transferring these values by uh, from this function. We are transferring from here. So we are transferring this from to where? We are transferring to calling function. Now calling function acts as this value. So we get the, all these values. X1 we get the same value. But we, we are not treating the value directly as one. We return the value from A1. So now this S1 also will get the same value. After returning the value from uh, structure, the A1 will get deallocate. A1 will get deallocate. You know the uh, how to use a static to not deallocate. Now we didn't use any static for the structure so that automatically A1 memory will be deallocate after exit from the uh, calling function. That is the structure read ST function. So the control after returning from here, the control after returning from here, so the values will be allocated to the X1. Immediately, the A1 structure will be deallocated. A1 structure will be deallocated, no more available in the memory from the read uh, read ST function. Now presently, the live, live variables are only two, S1 comma S2. Now we are not using S2, we are only using S1. Now S1 only holds the values of these all the uh, uh, members data. Now I want to uh, uh, call you one more function to display this one. I want to call you one more function. The function in the display. Display function. Display all the values, not from the main. So I am where I want to display. I want to display somewhere. Somewhere you want to display. Then you call you one more function display function. Now where you have a values, you have values at S1. Only at S1. So that I am passing this S1 as a actual parameter. I'm passing this as one as an actual parameter. See, uh, here's structure type is a written type in from this function. You may understand we can also key the structure type also a written type. From one more function, you should understand that we can also pass a structure as a parameter. You should also understand structure can also return. So all the almost the major important points are covered from this program. We are returning structure. We are using return type as a structure. We are also passing a pa parameter as a structure. Uh, now, when here I am writing the display function. So, display function. The type of display. It's normally void type. We are not returning anything. So, but uh, we are access the parameter, actual parameter from uh, calling function. So, here we need a. Now we need a, a formal parameter. A formal parameter uh, should be type should be a student type. Student. Uh, some B1. I'm using some B1. Okay. Now B1. Uh, B1 access the all the data from X1 to B1. Now X1 copy transferred to X1 actually receive data from A1. Now X1 transfer the copy of the data to where B1. Now B1 receive the data. But uh, F1 still live because this function is not exited. exited. 
S1 S1 P live. So now B1 retrieve the copy of data from S1. So after this, after this, we can able to print. We can able to print. Directly, we can able to print the value. First, we can D. That B that B1 dot B1 dot name. We can able to print because the same print of the print of S1 is transferred to the B1. Now B1 is a local variable, a student local variable for this display function. Use it to print the values of S1. Now new copy is created. B1 is a new copy. So this print the name of the function. Uh, sorry, name of the corresponding name. Mm, uh, uh, this is name and so this is the row number b1 dot row number. Uh, next one percentage. Yes. Oh. Okay, now this function is to print the marks, print the name, print the roll number. So this is a function to read the values into structure. Now oh, here also I should keep F. I forgot to keep F. So this is a percentile F. Now remember. What happened here in this function? So then after after print the value, the control again return to uh, main function, calling function. So here we are just closing this function, main function we are closing. Now what happened here? Uh, so whenever we call a display, the display also has a one more copy of the data. We have a one more copy of the data. So that is a B1. B1 get access data from S1, B1. Now B1 will access the data from where? Uh, from S1. S1 will provide the data. Because whenever it is display is calling, display access parameter is S1. Now S1 directly copy to, to copy to the uh, B1. Now B1 get the data of B1 get the data of 22 uh, XYZ next to 79.5. That the to the data. Okay. So after uh, after display, the whenever we are returning to the returning to the calling function, this corresponding B1 will be deallocated. After return to the return to the calling function, the corresponding B1 will be deallocated. Deallocate. And still we live live variable is S1. Okay. So like the program is person. So after exit from the main, the so all steps will be deallocated. Okay. So this is nothing but a by using this function, you should understand. How we can able to implement a function with the structure variables. So one time we implemented a return type as return type also as structure, return value also structure, and parameter also parameter actual parameter is a structure, and here formal parameter also is structure. So we don't use anywhere in the, in any way uh, as like an integer float like that, except the members of a structure. We don't use anywhere a uh, integer like that. Okay, so this topic you may understand how to communicate the function by uh, with the structure variables. The next video will discuss about the array of structures.